Welcome back. Let's go back into our database. We've just created our users table, but now we want to actually insert some information. How can we do that? Again, using SQL, we have the insert into command that we're able to insert into whichever table name we want. We're going to specify the column and then the values of each of those respective columns and always ending in a semicolon. I also want to emphasize that with SQL, the capitalization is just a standard, but if I made this lowercase, it will still work. It's case insensitive. So looking at our database, we have name, age, and birthday. Let's insert something. We'll say that we want to insert into users. Column one will be name. And then we have age, birthday. And no, you don't have to insert every time into every column. You can just change the name if you want. All right, name will be Andre. Value will be 31. And then birthday will say is, if you remember the day syntax, if I open up here, is this, year, month, day. So I simply do 19. I'm going to make myself really old. We'll say January 25th. Press enter. I get insert. Awesome. If I do slash D again, I see my table. But how can I see the value that I just entered? Well, first, let's check here. Let's check with our GUI. Click on content, select users, and look at that. Name, age, birthday. I have Andre, 31, with my birthday. Very cool. Now, how can we grab this information? Again, a SQL syntax is select. And we want to say what we want to select. In our case, we can say name, age, birthday, from, and then the table name. In our case, users. Semicolon, press enter. And look at that. I get Andre, age 31, birthday. If I want to just grab the entire columns without spelling out everything, imagine if we had tons of columns, we can use the wildcard symbol of star. That's shift eight to get star. And I get the same thing. Very cool. By the way, with PSQL, we can actually run these queries here. See how it already has select? I can say select star from users, and it even gives me nice coloring. Press enter or press semicolon and run query. And look at that. It gives me the table for me. And it also has the history, which is really, really nice. Let's add a few more users here. I'm going to insert this time somebody else. I'm just going to change a few things. 41 and Sally inserted. If I select star from users, I have Andre and Sally. Going back here, run query, I have Andre and Sally in the database. How cool is that? All right, we know how to create a table. We know how to insert into a table and we know how to grab this information. We can already start picturing what powers we can have now with our final project. But there's still a few more things we want to learn. For that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.